What do you do when you have your family daycare and it's not what you thought it was going to be? What you do? You thought you were going to be able to spend all this quality time with your children. You thought that you would be able to cook all these, you know, meals and do all these different things. You thought that you would just, you know, enjoy having, you know, some other children there with your children and, you know, to, you know, add a little bit of income so that you can be a stay at home mom because, it's you know, you just love it. And then it ain't nothing like what you thought it was going to be. When. The children don't get along with your children. Your children don't get along with the daycare children. That happens. They're children. What you have to do is put yourself in the mindset that your child is a part of daycare. And so it's hard to do, but you have to try to treat your child as much like a daycare child as any other child. And that's what you have to do. Don't feel guilty to the point to where it starts to take a toll on your health. There's going to be some mommy guilt there, you know, for the most part. Because you're like, oh my goodness, I'm holding this infant and my two-year-old is over here. He he crying too. You know what I'm going to do? You know, you put this one on the lap, this one up here, and you pat it and you, you know, you, you know, you work it out. You know, um, daycare can take a toll on you. And that's why I say it's necessary to take vacations. You got to take vacations. You got to take days off. You have to take time for yourself. And... This isn't a center, this is family daycare. So if you need to take a day off and you you know, you know feel like you just need to have it, let your parents know. Try to give them enough notice to say, hey, I'm gonna take next Friday off. I need to go to the doctor, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, you know, my child has it. Like, you do what you can do, but this is family daycare. And so family should understand that too. You know, and I always tell my clients, have backup care in case I get sick or something happens. You know, it's amazing how, if they go to public school or they're in a private school, it's okay for them, you know, to have these days off, but it's not okay for us. No, that's a double standard. No, not at all. So when daycare starts to take over your whole life, it's time to sit back, take a deep breath, and just reassess everything. And just find a plan, find a mentor, find someone to talk to that can relate to what you're talking about, or at least can understand it, and that they can be a help to you to help you get out of this little funk that you're in right now. We all get there at one time or another, you know, and you're not alone. That's a good thing. You're not alone. Um, there's so many outlets out there now on IG, Facebook, TikTok, like so many where people just really understand what you're going through. I don't care where you live at on the planet Earth. If you do daycare, somebody understands what you're going through. I just wanted to share that with y'all. <laughs>